Hey hi everyone, welcome back to another video on Cucumber series. In this video we will mainly focus how we can generate reports in Cucumber. So till now we have seen only its printing on console or in a JUnit section. But we need a separate reporting because if you are working with automation then you need a good reporting as well so that you can present over to your client or your management or your team lead. So generating report in Cucumber is very easy. Uh, so first of all, I will show you how you can generate simple HTML report in Cucumber. Then you have multiple kind of reports here. Either you can generate report in HTML format or JSON XML format. So we'll discuss which kind of report uh, we have and how we can generate this. To generate a simple plain HTML report, you need to add a separate feature called plugin here. So this you have to add inside your test runner. So in the test runner as of now we have given only step definitions and glue. So as you as of now you can see here HTML means you need HTML reporting then colon and where exactly you want this report. So I want this report under target folder under target folder you will get a separate uh, report called cucumber html report if you want to change this directory you can change it but let's keep inside your project home directory so that it will be easy for you to access so let me go back to eclipse this is the existing test runner so i will close it let's jump to the test runner which we are uh, we are creating so till now, this is what we have in test runner. Let me format it so it will be easy for you. And one more. So now we need plugin. Then in curly braces, in double quotes, first of all, I will directly copy paste it will be easy for me as well and for you so HTML colon target and the complete folder name that's all HTML kind of report we need in the next videos will uh, in this part itself I will show you generate JSON and other format as of now HTML report I need in target folder and the report folder should be cucumber hyphen HTML hyphen report and if you're working with Maven, then by default, you will get this target folder you don't have to create. So right now, you can see it's completely empty. And if you want, you can delete as well. Okay, but automatically, Maven will generate this. So let's save this, Control S. And uh, what exactly I have in my feature file right now, I have not closed the browser. So I will add this, then application should be closed so if I run this feature file if I run as cucumber feature it's not running so again right click run as run configuration and run Okay. You can see it's not running and the reason is it says you need to add this uh, application should be closed. So let me add this because this one we have not added till now. I will say driver dot quit. Now it's fine. Let's run this feature file again. So this is started. So good thing about Cucumber, whenever you add a new step, it will ask you to add in the step definition. Then only it can identify like which step we have to uh, attach with which code right so right now we added this 
why I added this because I don't want to close the browser manually every time so I just added this step and once you are done it will close the browser and yes so total one scenario four step and if you refresh this project so right now you can see report is still not generated so let's run it again this time we will run as a test runner last time we added we have executed through this and the thing which we added here in test runner so let's try to run via test runner so let's run it it says class not found so let's check what is the issue currently it says test runner so let's add my config apply run it's a temporary issue it says class not found okay so let's check if I create a copy of it copy of test runner now let's run it okay, it's running but why it is not detecting these we have features file step definitions everything is fine here so let's run it again it is not able to detect this anyways we have added so just give me a minute let me check I got the issue here so maybe just because of some internal issues it was not able to detect this step definition file so what I created uh, I created just a copy of it so I created simply I copied this and I pasted in the same directory so it has created a copy copy of it and now I have two step definitions so maybe if you want you can delete it now if you run this test runner and here also what I did I created a copy of the existing test runner and I deleted the older one because it was somehow referring to the old test runner so this time if I run as JUnit test so it is starting the test runner uh, and you can see these scenarios are ready to execute so this is the previous one it will start a new session so and it will continue so as of now you can see this target folder is blank so as soon as these steps will get executed now if just refresh it so once you refresh you will get the cucumber HTML report so if you see the test runner which we added cucumber HTML report same folder and now here you will get this report index.html so just right click open with a web browser and yes this is the basic HTML report which you are getting so this is the feature which we are testing which you are testing now and this is the scenario so right now we have only one scenario all are coming in a green one because our step is passed so in case any step is failed it will show you the failed complete scenario so this is how you can generate the HTML report so if you are facing the same issue which I was facing so maybe you can uh, restart Eclipse or you can just create a copy of your step definition and create a copy of the test runner and delete the previous test runner now I will rename it uh, in the next program so if you see the different reports apart from HTML if you want JSON report and they have a pretty format it will generate in a text format you can generate another 
JSON file using this usage keyword and if you need in a XML format then you can use this JUnit as well so already we use the first one if you need other four as well so you can copy paste so this is our test runner so let's add these as well so just expand it and just add all these so apart from HTML we will get one JSON one pretty format one in XML format and another JSON report with usage keyword so this is especially uh, if you are using this JSON to read the result and export in a different uh, let's see you want to export in a different report then you can use it so let's run it again and this time you will get different folders so you can see here this is the target folder same target folder we are referring but you will get all these in a home directory because we are not uh, specifying any directory like HTML so all these you will get in the home directory so let's wait for the execution still running I will close the previous instance yes so now if you go back just refresh you can see all these formats are coming so let's check this first one cucumber.json so this is the json file everything just in a json format second one is pretty format so this is your pretty format right now this is open with a text editor Eclipse is not able to read the symbol so if you want to open this just go back to your folder target this is your pretty format so let's open a notepad no okay so in notepad also it's not showing so you can use a rich editor so let's try with the default one okay it's not supporting this so maybe you can skip this pretty format so it will show you whatever you are getting in the HTML report so right now it's not able to detect all this it will show you in a simple plain English apart from this you have this XML file so this XML you can directly get from here itself so this is the XML format so you can see th this generally comes uh, while executing itself if you need this you can see the direct it's showing here if you want to open in an editor then this will be the XML code okay but if you need in graphical format if you double click it will start this So this is all the different kind of uh, format which you can use. Generally we focus on HTML and in, in case if you need the JSON format you can use this if you want to export your report. You can just rename them and you can delete the old files and it will work as expected. So now our Maven project is ready. We have the pom.xml file as well. So now we can start working uh, with this pom.xml and we can directly execute this pom.xml if you want to run everything in one shot. So you can run as a Maven build clean install test. So in future videos we will execute this pom.xml as well. So just try it from your end and let me know if you are finding an issue. So if you are finding the same issue which I was facing then you can delete the old step definition because it was referring to the old one create a copy and delete the previous one same thing you can do with the test runner and then finally you can execute thank you so much have a nice day bye bye